Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. I have the best remedy for, oh, of course I'm talking because my dog is gonna need a treat. Hold on one second. Okay, 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 okay. The second I go live, my dog knows she gets a treat to be quiet. All right, here we go. Okay guys, so the past couple of days have been super hot out and I mean really hot, like 109 is not normal hot. And the lineup at Starbucks has been insane. Hi Angel, my sweet thing. Okay, so the lineup at Starbucks is not normal. It hasn't been nor normal since, since uh, March, really. The lineup goes out my, literally, out the plaza and down the street. And people are paying an arm and a leg for certain items that I'm gonna show you right now how to make instead of Starbucks, it's Lindsay Scents, okay? Starbucks, Lindsay Scents. No bucks, cents. You should pay $4.83 for what I'm about to make you. No, oh, come on, we're not throwing our money away here. We're saving our money and we're gonna have something even healthier than Starbucks, but it's identical and super uber yummy, okay? So, before we begin, I just wanna wait a few more minutes for a few more people to come on and we are gonna do something that's gonna blow your mind because this is so good. And when I go to Starbucks, I don't, I don't know the name of the Frappuccino, the Lubbuccino, whatever the heck it is. I don't, I don't know, really know the name. So what I end up doing is I end up making up my own thing. And I made my own drink up there that's so apropos for the heat and the summer, so refreshing, so good, and it can be decaffeinated or regular, and you can make it in your home. You don't have to wait in that long. Starbucks line, you can have Lindsay Scents, no bucks, okay? Itty bitty bitty amount of money here going down. So all you need for this is homebrew coffee. So simple, turn your little coffee machine on if you don't have one, 20 bucks, Walmart, order, Amazon, ship it, all good. And I brewed, I buy organic coffee from Fresh Market and I have them grind it there. If they could bottle the smell of ground up coffee beans, I would buy it and spray my house with it. It is the, sometimes I just brew coffee because I don't have any caffeine, everything is decaffeinated, so I really don't need coffee. I just like the smell of it. I actually like the smell better than I like the taste. So, but anyway, this, other than this drink. Okay, so this, I take the brewed coffee, I'm gonna put it in the fridge. I bought um, hazelnut or vanilla decaffeinated beans and I had them grind it for me there so I could smell it, it's amazing. Okay, so you need your cold brew coffee. Brew it, shove it in the fridge, 10 seconds, people. Then I get my uh, organic, can you see that? Organic almond milk, 35 calories, because if you buy something at Starbucks and you sweeten it, and then you go, I mean, some of these drinks are like a Big Mac. Seriously, you have to really consider where your calories are from. Do you want to drink your calories, or do you want to eat your calories? Do you want to make something that's just uh, as tasty and a quarter of the calories? Mm, I think that's my bet. Okay, and you're gonna need stevia, and ice and a blender. So let me go over that one more time. Oh, and a straw and a cup. Okay, let me go one more time. Coffee brewed in the fridge, let it get cold. Stevia or Truvia. If you have Truvia, I ran out of Truvia. Um, Truvia's probably not as good as Stevia, but it's pretty good. It's, I think it's erythritol and um, Stevia leaf. So it's good for the, the both together combination. It does not have an aftertaste. Trivia does not have an aftertaste. Stevia has a little bit of aftertaste. My sister hates it. I'm totally fine with it. Starbucks uses that as well. I am so not giving you another one. Okay, and the uh, organic milk. Now, if you live in Florida, if you live near an Aldi's, okay, because people are trying to save money here, it's Lindsay Scents, okay? Not only is it not Starbucks anymore, it's, it's uh, other things that are a lot less expensive. I go to Aldi's to buy certain things. I buy my eggs there, and I buy some of the organic meat for my family and I buy their milk there because this is $2.99 and it's organic almond milk and it's $4 or $5.99 in Publix. Let me think, hmm. And they have a ton of organic vegetables and fruits and I go ahead and buy my organic stuff there. I literally pay less money in all these for my organic food than I do for my regular food that I would at Publix or God forbid Whole Foods, right? And then you're paying, you can buy five of these. So anyway, so the whole point is, is that we're, we're trying to save a little bit of money here, right? Uh, and be smart. Even if we're not trying to save, we're trying to be smart with our money. So this is at people that just logged on. We are making a Starbucks drink, but we're not calling it Starbucks, it's Lindsay Scents, because this is no longer $4.83, and it's healthier, and it's better, you make it at home. And if you like a 7-Eleven Slurpee, you're gonna love this. Well, I'm gonna give my dog another treat, can you believe it? 
She knows. She knows me all too well. There you go. Now go away. My dog's really cute. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to actually make this for you. Remember, this is something that you can do and have all day long. Your kids can even have this because I do decaf, right? So pour the decaf in here. Not too much. Okay? Not too much. And this is going to be how big your glass is. You'll figure that out. And then you pour the milk in. Right? There's the milk. This is my, this is my favorite drink on the planet. And then you take a little bunch of ice. I'm going to need more ice than that. Hold on one sec. Ready? Get some more ice. Oh, my ice is slow. I guess my ice is, I think my ice is out. All right, and then you put your lid on. It'll just be a little more watery than normal. Okay, and then put the lid on. I got the lid on there. Oh, wait a second. We forgot the stevia. Now, stevia is to taste, right? So you can do as many as you want. I like it sweet. I happen to like it sweet, so I'm gonna do four packets of stevia. With Truvia, I need like two tables, two teaspoons, because it's really, really, really um, sweet. And again, if you don't like those sweeteners, now stevia is a plant extract, guys, so I'm cool because it's a plant. And Truvia, I believe Truvia is stevia mixed with erythritol, which is a sugar alcohol. Also cool, all good. Okay, I'm gonna put the lid back on. Watch what happens. We are making a 7-Eleven Slurpee from Starbucks, like Starbucks, but it's Lindsay Sense. Here we go, and turn this on and plug your ears because this is loud. I definitely need more ice in this. Let me check one more time if I have more ice. Hold on. Let's see. Okay, so we're out of ice. Oh, come on. <laughs> Hold on. We a couple more. Hold on, guys. So we got four ice cubes out of it. Unfortunately, we just made this. And, oh, we can see the top though. Okay, hold on a second. Ready? Let's make this, ready? And it's left. Now you need to double the ice that I made. Okay, so you get the picture here. Now when you blend this, and you're using the ice, I wanna show you what this looks like, okay? Okay, here comes the site. Now there's the stuff on top. It comes out exactly, see, look at the bottom. That's what it should all come out like. Let me show you. But I don't have enough ice, but that's okay. Okay, you can see on the bottom. Let's get this out with a spoon. Or a fork. Okay guys, so I'm gonna get this out. <laughs> I'm making the biggest mess ever. Okay, so let me just mix it around and I'll don't worry about my mess. Okay, so now you have a Slurpee. If you had enough ice, it would be totally a Slurpee. But it's okay, it's a Lindsayism. And we have our straw, and you stick it in here. And can you see this, guys? Let me show you this close. Okay, so see this Slurp on top? It's literally like a 7-Eleven Slurpee, but it's coffee. And it's not $4.82, it is I don't know what, a couple of pennies? Let me taste. And it's insane. I mean, like, it's ridiculous. So guys, try this recipe home. Just use double the ice that I used for sure. And maybe don't put it on your table. <laughs> um, but anyway, this literally takes all of five seconds. It is insane. It's completely refreshing. And it's not gonna cost you an arm and a leg. And you don't have to wait in that long line that everybody's waiting in to have Starbucks. Cheers, guys. Try it. I'll leave the recipe up there. It's a, a little one. Just remember, twice the ice. Bye, guys. Have a beautiful Saturday night, and I will see you soon.